Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how I model this beautiful looking uh, cushion in less than two minutes in self-cut. So let's get started. I'll delete everything I have and I'll start from scratch. So I'm going to my 3D sketch, my drawing. Um, I'm going to start with a rectangle drawing and I'm going to start basically just drawing a rectangle like this. And then I'll make my plane offset to 100 to give it a height and I'll draw again um, the same rectangle. It doesn't have to be the exact size, actually I make it now bigger here somewhat. So uh, well, that should be fine. And then I'm going to loft and I'm lofting this. So what this is doing actually the loft, we have the smoothness. This will kind of give you like the amount of segments between each of them. I don't need that much smoothness. I used actually 10 would be perfect. And I'm going now to fill settings. I wanted to fill the top and bottom. I can remove that, uh, um, you know, kind of make it like this, I can have a close loft, would look a different, like kind of close like this, but I actually wanted to have fill top and bottom, and I go to bevel settings, I set both to the max, uh, 10 bevel and 10 offset, one is the amount of kind of like interpolation smoothness, one is each, between each interpolation, the amount of segments will be the amount in between, so, and that's basically it, um, so that finishes this part, now this part, if you look at the wireframe mode, you'll see this actually has um, a lot of edges, but only in one direction. So if I need to create creases over here, I wouldn't be able because there's no segments in between. So what I need to do is I need to go to resolution and I'm going to add some, I think four would be fine. So I'm adding four creases and now you see I have basically all of these creases here. That's, that's perfectly fine. So I should be able to start uh, using it now. Now we're going to go to the inflate tool and I'm just going to, I want to make it look like random looking. So what I'm going to do actually is first just move it a little bit up, kind of inflate it a little bit up. I think it's a little bit too much. Come over down a little bit, something like this. And now I want to uh, make the sides, but I want it to look organic. I can actually go here and, and uh, make it keep a symmetry so I can make both sides together, but I actually want it to look a little bit more organic. So I'm going to make one side separately. But to make sure the other side looks different, I'm going to position my gizmo in a different location. Let's say like here. And now I'm going to make this side a little bit. And I'm going to continue doing the same thing. I'm going to make now uh, this side. And now to make the other side, I'm going to position it again, my gizmo a little bit different. So to make, to grab this, to make this side. So like this, I got a little bit different kind of organic looking for each side. And now I'm going to go to my texture. I just found online a texture that I uploaded, the simple texture. Um, you can use any texture you choose. And once you upload, load the image, you upload, it goes into your custom and it's positioned over here. So I add this and I finalize. And here you go. This is the cushion. I think actually it looks quite nice. And if you want to look at more organic, you can play around, move the gizmo uh, from the inflate a few times and each time bend a little bit. So it will make it look even better. But uh, I think in general, that's... Uh, I would think this is a real cushion, so it looks quite nice. Okay, um, thanks for watching, and if you like it, please like, subscribe, and let me know what else you want me to show. Thank you.